you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are making adorable place cards for our Thanksgiving table and these are super simple. We're going to make them with the Cricut Joy but you can make them with the Maker, you can make them with the Explore. I'm going to show you how to put it all together in Cricut Design Space and then we're going to go over to the craft table and make them. If you like what I'm doing here today, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. And so I've gone ahead and opened up a new canvas and just pulled in a few things that I thought maybe we could work with today. Um, so I just searched in images for um, Thanksgiving things like pilgrim hats and turkeys and cornucopias and just, you know, fun things like that. And so I want you to notice that these are slightly different types of items. So give thanks is, if you click on it, you can see here in the line type, it is a cut file. But if you click on the turkey, the pilgrim's hat, um, these things are drawn with the pins. And you can make this project again with your maker, your joy, or your explore. But what I thought was really fun about this is you could do a very small place card, which I've gone ahead and started putting one together here, um, which is just the drawn element of the turkey. Or you can make it a little bit bigger. If you're using the joy, you can go as big as four and a half inches wide. And so that could be like a, a cute little coloring sheet for the kids table. So don't be limited to what we're doing today just to place cards. I mean, your place card could actually be larger, right? And it could be more of like a kid activity to keep them busy um, while you guys are trying to, you know, get everything together for the Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to, you know, have these elements that are drawn on the small place card, or you could do something a little fancier um, with your Cricut and make the folded, um, and you cannot score with the joy you can with the maker and with the explorer but i can show you how to score super easy um, if you wanted to make this type of a place card with your joy so we're going to um, i'm going to show you really quickly how you can find some of those things in images and then i'm going to show you how you would break those down and add text to them um, or move them together so that and attach them so that they all you know, print and, not excuse me, not print, that they cut out and draw together. Okay, so if we go over into images, and you'll notice I searched scallop rectangle. Let me show you this super quick, so cancel that out. I searched for scallop rectangle, and that's where I got this, this outline piece here. And then I searched for turkey, so like when I went into images, I just searched for, um, I think I did Thanksgiving turkey. And so you see it pops up with all different kinds of things. There's so much to pick from, guys. Um, but see, like this is a drawn image where this is a cut image. It's the same image, but the, there's the difference, right? And then this, so for instance, if you brought in this cut image um, and or this, yeah, this cut image and you made it into a draw image. Let me just show you real quick. Actually, I think I pulled that in at one point. Oh, I pulled in many. Didn't mean to do that. Eek. I clicked on all of them. So if you do this and you go up into line type, you can still draw it, but I just wanted to show you this. It then outlines it so you have like the double line, which is fine, but it's not the same as having it as an original creation, you know, to be drawn. Um, and you can filter in images when you're searching for these things to give you just drawn images or cut images only. So if you don't want to have to sort through everything. Okay. so. Now we have a few things on our canvas. Let's go ahead and pick which ones we want to cut out with our joy. And then again, you could make these with your maker or your explorer. And I'll take you over to the craft table and we'll kind of put it together. So just a couple of things on this. So for instance, let's do this drawn one here um, where I put my son's name on it. And then we'll do a little fancier one which is layering the elements with our joy. And this is um, something we can also put the child's name on or the person's name on and make that part. Um, so I'm going to hide these. I don't want to get rid of them. I'm not sure what I'm doing for my Thanksgiving table yet, um, but I'm just going to save those. I just think that is such a fun idea to do coloring sheets. Um, okay, and let's move this up so we can see it easier. Okay, so if we do this card, 
or we're going to do this card. It is just a flat card. But if we do this one, then I'll show you how to score it. But if you look at, it's an original design in Cricut Design Space. So like this one, I just got the scallop card and I put the turkey on it and I put his name on it. But this one was a design already. And then I closed off or hid things that I didn't want. So I took off the score because my joy won't score. And I took off the envelope because this was originally created as a card. Um, I took off the lettering because I want to put um, my son's name on it as a place card. Um, and then I did a couple of other things, just hid the things that I did not want. There were some extra layers in there that I didn't think were important. Um, so to put the child's name or the person's name on the place card, all you do is you go into text and you can select writing as a style here. Um, or you can go into font and just when you're searching for fonts, make sure you use the filter and just tell them you only want writing. And so then those are the only fonts that show up. So you could, what I used I think is the MRA. And so when you type in the person's name, you can see it comes up as writing. So it's going to work best with your pens. It doesn't mean you can't do the other, but it's a lot like the turkey where you'll have like that double lined effect. So if you take this and then you're like, well, that's cute and all, but I would like for it to be closer together. If you go into letter spacing, and I usually start um, and just bring everything down to zero, but then if I wanted them to touch, I could continue to reduce that past the negative, and we could just make this really big so we could see it. And it looks like everything is touching, actually maybe a little overlapped. Oops, so I'm going to go backwards just a touch. And so I'm going to delete this. And so I already have Alex on this one piece. And what I did there, um, just to make it simple, I went in to this card and I saw this was the piece that was written on and I duplicated it. So you just hit duplicate and then I put his name on it. Um, and once you put the child's name or the person's name on it, what you want to do is you want to attach them. So that way when it goes over to the mat, you're able to write it and cut it at the same time. Otherwise, if you don't attach them, you go over to the mat and they're two separate elements. But you want this all to be together. So I'm going to delete this one. And then with this card, I could literally just, you know, get rid of that one. And this will be the piece or the element that has his name on it and I'll insert that into there. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our machine to Cricut Joy. And you see these little cones, and it's telling me that the pen is incompatible. So all that means is it doesn't mean you can't use pens with it, it just means that you need to go up into your pen choice and make a change. So if you go up into pens, it's gonna give you all of the available choices for the Joy. And so I'm going to use a black pen, so the .44. And you'll see here, these are all infusible ink, beautiful, wonderful colors. But you only have like the green, red, moccasin, armadillo, that kind of thing. But if you click on this down arrow, you can also pick from extra fine, gel, glitter gel, all those kinds of things. And so I'm going to use the fine point to draw this, but I will tell you that the, let's see, these, um, the glitter gel are amazing, as well as the markers. I really love the markers. Okay, so for now, we're just going to go with the fine point. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's so much detail to this little turkey. If you use the markers, which is beautiful, the, the pen is, of course, broader. Um, so the stroke is broader, and all that will kind of, like, become one thing instead of you being able to see all that fun detail. Okay, and so the same goes for this. See the little caution cone? I'm going to go up into pen. Whoops, I just want the one. We'll go up into pen and we're going to select black. Okay, so now we're ready to move on. Okay, and we're going to do this project today on the mat. So I select on the mat. Okay, and so here are all of our different mats. So we have multiple colors. So this is the kind of outline of the leaves for the fancy one. And then this is our scalloped card that we will score ourselves. And then we have our other card that's going to be completely drawn. And then this is the die cut 
element for the fancy card. Okay, and of course, you know, if you don't have all of these same color of materials, you can change them to anything that you want, but I will be using a cardstock for each of these. So we're gonna start with the draw. I just wanna do this one. All those other elements go to one card. So we're gonna start with the kid version. It's gonna show that our machine is connected, and then we're going to select our material. And with the Cricut Joy, it's gonna bring up all those materials that are used for the Cricut Joy. That's a nice thing about being able to like select your um, machine. It's gonna bring up the things that are used most. And if you don't see what you wanna use here, you can always go to Browse All Materials. But we're going to be using the medium cardstock. Okay, so now we're ready to hop over to the craft table and apply our material to the mat. And then we will um, also use the pins and I'll show you a little bit more about those. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and I have my Cricut Joy, I have my Cricut Joy mat, I have an assortment of cardstock and even some glitter cardstock. I have my paper trimmer and then these are my Cricut Joy tools. Um, and I probably won't be using this scraper unless I need to get it off the mat, but I will be using Using this little guy um, to get the little pieces of paper out of these cuts and then I have some glue and a bone folder which I'll show you all about that if you don't have a bone folder no worries you can use a case knife out of your kitchen drawer and then these are um, just the Cricut Joy pens. so I'm gonna be using the black but I wanted to show you guys the glitter pens and the markers. These are beautiful when written, you know, like when they draw. Um, but just because I'm using such a small image, I'm going to go with the very smallest pen. Okay, so let's clear all this out of the way and we'll put our first piece of cardstock on the mat. Okay, so looking at the size of the paper that we need in Cricut Design Space, I need three and a half by two and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use our paper trimmer and our cardstock and just cut out the right size for what we need. And I love this paper trimmer because it has, I'm gonna move this back just a smidge, it has a ruler here that is gonna allow me to extend all the way out if I had a larger sheet to cut. So we're just going to go three and a half. And then if you're looking here, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but this is actually a ruler as well. So then you can always cut the right size. So then we'll shave that up and then we can turn it around and then bring the cutting edge down. Okay. So now we just take our rectangle and place it down on our mat and you can use the scraping tool. I mean, you can put it down with your fingers or if you want to, can use the scraping tool and then we pop it into our machine. And now when you do the writing function and a cutting function on a project, it's always gonna start with the pen. So what we wanna do is we want to take out our blade and put in our pen. And with a Cricut Joy, you just literally drop it in and close it. Now, if you're using an Explorer or a Maker, you actually push the pin down till it pops. But with the Joy, there's no pop. Okay, so then go over to your computer or your phone and select Go. I love watching this machine draw. It is so fun. Okay, so we just remove. Look how cute that is. Look how darling that turned out. So now you could use this, like the kids could color it, or you can just set it on your placemat. It's so sweet. Now we're gonna make the intricate cut of the kind of elegant place card. So I am going to layer three different kinds of paper. So I'm going to put this glitter card stock on the top and then we'll have um, two other sort of medium card stocks underneath. So go back into your Cricut uh, design space and make sure that when you select this one, you look to see how big it's gonna be. And I'm actually using a remnant. So the sheet's a little bigger than I need, but then uh, make sure that you choose glitter card stock, okay? and you can always go into browse all materials at the top of uh, Cricut Design Space to choose a different one. I love that the Cricut Joy can cut out all of these different types of materials. Okay, and so there's our glitter card. Move this out of the way. You can just take your spatula tool, kind of get up under the edge and take the paper off the mat. kind of a fragile cut. So just go easy. Like I said, this was a remnant. That's why it's so much larger than my actual cut. And then you can take 
your weeding tool and just go in and get out any of those extra little hanging pieces of paper. Okay, so I cleaned off my mat and I went ahead and cut out um, the other layer that goes right behind the glitter so you can see how pretty that's going to be. And now it's time for us to cut out our nameplate. So basically that it will go right inside of this set. And so we're just gonna place that on the mat and then we're going to replace our needle um, with the pen because remember when we use the pen tool, we always write whatever we're gonna do first and then we cut it out. So we're just going to use the pen tool, pop it in and we're ready to go. And then we remove our pen and we put our blade back in. Select to go again. Okay, so now let's cut out our base card. Okay, so unlike the first place card that we did, which was just a flat place card that you could sit on something or use the little place card holder. This one is a folded place card. And so the Cricut Joy does not have the ability to um, score a line right in here for you to bend it easily. The Cricut Maker and the um, Cricut Explore Air 2 does, but the Cricut Joy doesn't have that function. So this is my little trick for you. So if you have a Joy and you still want to do fun things like that, and I use um, my straight edge cutter. If you don't have one, anything with a straight edge, you can just use a ruler, but you can take, this is a bone folder, um, and I used it for many, many years um, just for different kinds of paper crafts before they came out with the scoring tool on the Cricut, but you can also use just a case knife um, from your kitchen drawer to do the same thing. But basically what you wanna do is you line up exactly where that score line or that cut would be in your design, and then you use your bone folder to press in, in that area right there. And again, you can do it against the side of a ruler, but basically you're just putting a small um, crease in this paper so that it bends really easy. Okay, so now that we've done that, and I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there is a crease. And so then when you go to fold your paper, it just gives a nice, beautiful, easy fold. See, how awesome is that, right? So then what we wanna do is we just want to take our design and we want to put down um, our leaves first and then we're going to layer on top our name and then we'll put the finishing touch on with the glitter and line everything up with the glue. It's going to be beautiful. So basically that's all you do guys. You just um, attach each element with the glue and you're ready to go. those were super easy and it's a beautiful way to use pins um, for all of your holiday projects and I know that I will actually be using them for Christmas cards as well I love the way they draw uh, it, I don't have the greatest handwriting either so it's great to use them for handwriting but I love the way they draw so I put links down below to everything that we used here today if you have any questions whatsoever guys leave them in the comments for me I want you to enjoy crafting and so I will do my very best to answer all of your questions and I hope you will give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.